Hello everybody, this is Lauren from Lauren Loves Color. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I went to the dollar store after seeing a lot of hauls from other color tubers and figured I had to check it out for myself. So what's good, what's bad, what's worth the money and what's, worth, what's not worth the money? I am here to share that with you today. So you'll see that I have quite the variety of supplies as well as coloring books as well. So we will go through all of it. And um, with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive right in. So first I'm going to be going through the supplies for you guys because I feel like that's a little bit easier to get through. I will tell you there are some definite hits and some definite misses, but um, I was excited and felt very fortunate that I at least had the opportunity to try things out. Now my Dollar Tree had a pretty good selection of different art supplies. Um, and I only pick the things that I color with and utilize the most. They did have things like colored pencils, acrylic paints, different things like that. And because those aren't art supplies that I normally use for my coloring, I didn't pick those up. So let's look at the things that I did pick up. And we will start with these. These are the, and I'm gonna scroll in just a little bit. These are the Jot Permanent Markers. And let's see, maybe you guys need a little bit more light. These are the Jot Permanent Markers and you'll see there's quite a range of different colors here. They kind of have a, what I would consider is like a primary set of colors and then they have kind of what is a secondary set of colors and more kind of what look to be neon inspired colors of permanent markers and y'all know I love coloring with permanent markers just about as much as I do coloring with alcohol regular alcohol markers these do come in packs of eight and everything here all of the supplies the individual packages are a dollar a piece so two two dollars for the complete set of um, what I found and these are by the company named Jock excuse me so these markers here Total a set of 16 and um, quite a nice variety of different colors. And I did swatch these out. So this is my swatch book that I use. I have little tabs that tell me um, which section I'm in. And so this is the variety of the jot markers. So these colors here are going to be from the primary set. And then these colors here are gonna be kind of from that secondary set. Now I did find quite a few similarities. For example, there is kind of an orange and then a light orange, but these two both looked very similar to me. Um, also what I thought was a dark red color kind of ended up turning out to be more of a brown. Um, also the two yellows ended up looking very, very similar. So there wasn't a lot of difference in variety of color there. The purples also look a little bit similar, but they're not, um, not horrible. Here, I'm gonna move my light now that I'm taking stuff out of the package to give you guys a little bit more light to see. So there are some, what I would say, kind of close and duplicative colors, but it doesn't normally bother me. Um, in some circumstances because then that way some of the primary colors are the colors that I use the most in my coloring books. So I don't get too mad at the fact that they're similar. Now here's the thing that I will tell you on these markers and here's going to be the reason I do not recommend these for kind of everyday coloring. The nib on these markers is very, very thick. Um, so it creates a very thick line. It is very hard and would be very hard to get into small details. Now here's my cardstock guys, and obviously you can see this is written all over, but um, I cannot get, and these markers are very, very juicy. Um, I cannot get very thin lines with these, so they would be very, very hard um, to color a regular coloring page with. So you can't get into finer details. Now the markers themselves seem to work very well. Like I said, they are very juicy, but in the same sense, I feel like unless you're coloring like a big, big, big space, um, you're going to have a very hard time 
um, getting into finer details in most coloring books. So I would not recommend these markers unless you are looking, like I said, to color in a big space or you're using them for just kind of general everyday permanent marker use. Um, these definitely um, color a lot bigger than just a regular fine tip Sharpie. So let's do a comparison. So I have a regular Sharpie here. This is a blue Sharpie. And you see how thin that Sharpie line is there in comparison to the jot. That is the thinnest line that I can get. So there's a really big comparison between the two of those. So just keep that in mind if you're interested in buying this set of markers. Um, you know, they're not horrible. I do like to swatch them out too to see, do I see any yellowing? Um of the colors and this has sat in my coloring swatch book for about 24 hours now and I don't see any yellowing yet um, or yellowing carrying over on another page which is really good so um, you might have to test a little bit longer to know whether or not that's really going to be the case but that I would say I would give these maybe a 3 out of 5 star or 2.5 out of 5 um, because the color range is somewhat ish there and um, just kind of the disappointment with the actual swatching. These I'm going to show next. These again are $1 a piece for each package. These are their metallic markers. They come in packs of four. This one comes obviously with like a silver, gold, bronze, and copper, and then a pink, purple, green, and blue. Um, and I did swatch these out. These I would not recommend at all. These are the color ranges here. And they look, I guess I would say, slightly better. Um, now that I'm looking at them, they have some metallicness to the marker themselves, but they're almost, if I run my finger across them, they're almost kind of flaky. Um, they feel like I would be able to just scratch them off of the paper. Um, so there is some metallic there, but it looks very gritty. It doesn't look very smooth in comparison to, let's find my jelly rolls. Um, so here's my metallic jelly rolls, um, that are right here. And, um, I don't know if you can see those, but you see how shiny and reflective they are, but they're also extremely smooth. These are not smooth. They're gritty and grainy. And, um, these to me are markers that will be going immediately in the trash. The permanent markers I might keep for certain projects, but these to me are junk. So actually I am going to throw these in the trash now. Unfortunately, um, those just did not work out for me. So the last thing that I have to show you is the absolute win. Actually, this is not my last supply. It's one of my supplies. These are the Jot glitter gel pens, um, specifically the glitter. They do have some non-glitter gel pens, um, but I did not pick those up. Um, the gel pens, I'm sorry for the noise guys, when you open them, they kind of actually resemble a jelly roll pen. Um, they look very similar to a jelly roll pen. They've got um, quite a broad nib on them, so they're kind of like maybe the 1.0 um, size of the jelly rolls, but these are really, really beautiful. Um, I did swatch these out as well, and I bought three packs because I had heard how good they were. Um, I did swatch them out here, and I don't know, guys, if you can see that, but I think you can see the absolute just beautiful shine on these. These write very, very smoothly. They're not scratchy. They um, are very highly pigmented. Um, so these are not going to be gel pens that um, kind of lightly go over color. This is going to cover up a lot of your color. Um, they do, I will tell you, um, I think because they are so pigmented. And this book is Amazon paper. Please be aware they do shadow um, on the back pretty bad. So I would not recommend these gel pens if you are working on um, um, something that is double-sided, but they are very, very beautiful. And I have a tab for my Colorit gel pens, and I would say that these 
are much better than my color it gel pens um which is pretty amazing they are not quite these are my pentel sparkle pops and dual metallics um they are not as sparkly as these these are definitely kind of the big winners but um they are even better than my colors now of course they don't have quite the color range but honestly when i'm using gel pens unless i'm coloring with just exclusively gel pens i may color with a lot of different colors these colors here this primary pack of colors here um, would work extremely well for me. So I do have three sets of these. Again, these are a dollar a pack. So I picked up my Dollar Tree had the last, this is the last three packs um, that they had available. I did also hear that they're somewhat seasonal. Um, I don't know how um, true that is or not true, but these are ones I would definitely recommend. Next is also, um, are these by Jot? These are not by Jot. Um, I am not sure what the name of this company is, but I also picked up a set of mechanical pencils. Um, what I do a lot of coloring things with these because what I do is I, um, um, unlike the Disney books for the black outlines, I find that if I do the black outline first with my Tombows that it smudges. Any water-based black marker for whatever reason seems to smudge. I don't know if it's because I use lotion on my hands or other things like that, but I really sometimes have problems with water-based marker smudging. So what I do instead is I actually outline in pencil first, um, go in, do all of my other colors, and then I do my black outline last. So I needed some new mechanical pencils, and so I picked up this pack here and I find that they write really well they also have a really good eraser um so they erase really well they're not scratchy or smudgy erasers so um like this set of mechanical um mechanical pencils so I would also um, recommend these this comes with a um a count of mechanical pencils and I only have one mechanical pencil left and the eraser is almost gone on it so um, I needed to pick up a new set of mechanical pencils so those are really good and then last but not least I picked up some of these page flags um, if you are a colorist of any kind um, and you mark your pages especially if you're like a color tuber you may mark your pages um, that you count that are completed I'll just grab kind of like my Jade Summer book um, for example here so before I do my videos I know what pages are complete and um, I run through these pretty quickly um, and so I have some really kind of cute ones that I had purchased off of Amazon but of course they are not um, they are not cheap um, little post-it flags um, so I picked these up at the dollar store and um, because it came in like a nice wide variety of colors and I will tell you the adhesive on these are very very strong so they're not weak um, so I really like these. These are going to come in handy for marking my pages um, and I am going to put these in my cup right now um, so that I have them available for use. So that is all that I have for my supplies. So let's get into the good stuff and let's get to the coloring books. So I'm going to kind of work my way up to the finale. Um, this book here, um, these first two books here are actually books that I got for my son. Um, these are paint by, um, kind of like just add water books. So, um, they're just paint with water and these are Bible themed. Um, so one kind of seems to focus on characters of the Bible, um, like this one. And all you do is just take a wet paintbrush with water and go over these areas and it will look like a painting, but they are single sided. They are perforated. And, um, my son and I like to do water books together. And so he has a couple um, that I have purchased him that are new, but when I saw these, I figured I had to get them, um, to give him something else to paint if he wanted to paint. Um, so these are all single-sided, um, and like I said, this one seems to focus on the different characters in the Bible, and I also thought it was a good opportunity to, for, as we colored, um, as we colored each image to talk about um, the different characters in the Bible and things as well. We've been limited. We haven't really been able to return to church in person yet. And so um, I figured this is maybe a good Sunday afternoon activity with him, you know, after we watch church on TV um, to learn a little bit of some of the lessons um, in the Bible. And I also thought these images were illustrated really nicely. Um, they're really cute and I think would appeal to children. And so, um, 
I do really like these. I think there are others. I've seen other people post um, images from other kind of just add water books um, from the Dollar Tree that are like Paw Patrol and maybe some of the more like popular characters um, and TV series and things as well. I couldn't find any of those. I found a lot of activity books but I didn't find any others that were um, these like water books. But these are these are absolutely perfect for what I'm gonna be using them for. And um, I think my son will enjoy these. So these are gonna go in his bucket of coloring books and um, activity books for us to work on together. Last but certainly not least, and the main reason that I went to Dollar Tree were because of these books. Now these are done by Landall Publishing. And um, these are all kick back and relax and then whatever the theme is um, to music. Now, I haven't looked into the music yet, but there are music downloads um, for free um, that you can download to each of these books. And I would actually play the music, except I don't want to get a copyright strike in case these are copyrighted. Um, or copywritten, but um, it does tell you on the back of the books what the songs are. Um, and they seem to be somewhat um, um, popular types of songs. Some of them I recognized, some of them I didn't. Um, so you go to www.musicforlearning.com and enter the promo code found on the first inside page. And that is how you can download um um, download these. Now these I had seen I believe by somebody on Instagram and I was instantly intrigued because there is a series that is non-color by number so there were actually quite a few just regular coloring books that were pretty interesting that I found there. There were some what I would consider what they were called like complex um, or hard color by number books. I did not buy those. They were by a different publisher because they were double-sided and um, the images to me just didn't quite appeal to me but these really Really did. So let me show you what these books are and why I like them. So this one is the Kickback and Color by Number Floral um, to Music. And even your front page has um, kind of the Color by Number scheme on it. I'll zoom in just a little bit more so that you can see that. And um, you have your color palette on the back of the page, but that's what's also really nice is these pages are all single-sided. They are also perforated. Um, now, like I can tell the perforation isn't perfect. It would cut off a um, leaf here, but I never really tear out my pages. Um, now I will tell you these, um, and maybe I do need to zoom out just a little bit more. Um, this paper is really poor quality. This is not even as nice as a standard Amazon paper. So I'm going to try coloring and alcohol markers with these but I'm also afraid of it just bleeding horribly but also the line art on a lot of these pages is pretty thick um so it might actually work okay I mean like how cute is that that little cat in the flowers and it's got a 17 color um color palette it does not have like what just what colors are in the book but um or on the page but I mean I think like this is really really nice this is better than some of the color by number books that are much more expensive and for a dollar I mean I don't think you can go wrong in trying these honestly but I mean if you decided you didn't want to color with alcohol markers I figure these would probably be great for water-based markers they would be great for crayons um or colored pencils um there's a lot you could do. The numbers in here are rather dark, so they're definitely gonna show through after you color them, but that doesn't bother me. I don't buy color by number books because I'm going to frame them or anything. Like this one has smaller, thinner line art. Um, so yeah, and I think there's 15 images in each book that does include the cover image, um, which has the title page on it, but I mean, for a dollar? This one is probably my favorite. This is the animals one. Um, I think the, the images of the animals in here are adorable. I mean, look at that. Cute parrots. I'm from Texas, so I love the armadillo, the monkey, even this cute little snail, the octopus, hummingbird, and flamingo. Like, I think this is really pretty. Is that a bear maybe? And a puppy dog. And I will tell you, my um, pages are a little bit folded up like that they were just kind of stored 
um, and not a great situation, but it doesn't really bother me. I don't think it's going to mess up the image bad enough. And um, I will tell you these four books, this is the complete set of the books. I was able to actually find one of each. I wasn't sure if I had them all. And then I looked on the back of each book and it appears as though I did get, there's the cover image. It appears as though I did get um, one of each book by this publisher. Cute llama. Like those are really adorable. Yeah, there's four um, um, in the set. So I have all of them. Um, this next one is patterns. So these are just standard patterns. I figured these might work really well with the Jot gel pens um, and my Color It gel pens in combination. I like doing a lot of patterns in gel pen or even just picking out like, you know, two of the colors in gel pen and the rest of the colors in, in alcohol or, or water-based markers. Um, so these images all seemed really simple to me. I almost wish these, I, I mean, I almost feel like if these were on standard Amazon paper, I feel like these books would actually sell pretty well. Um, but I mean, I'm not mad that they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I, I like that there are some more affordable options for coloring, um, especially if you're on a budget. Um, you know, and I don't know what these pages look like colored, but what I will do is I am going to try to color some of these pages um, in the month of February, and I will be sharing a lot of those images in my completed pages or in a... Um, um, on Instagram. You know, I always share all of my completed pages on Instagram. This is the relax. So this is all kind of like soothing, fun scenes. I mean, that's a really nice illustration too. But so, I mean, if you have kids you want to do color by number with, or even not, like I'm going to do these myself as an adult, I think these are great. Look at that. Like with the cupcakes and the butterfly. Like these are really, really great illustrations. So if you have a Dollar Tree, go out and pick up some of these books. Get yourself these books. Get yourself some Jot Gel pens. I think you will really, really enjoy it. And none of the images in these books are duplicated. So it's not like you're going to have to worry about it. So, I mean, that's 15 what is that, 30? So it's 60 images that I got for $4. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. Most of my books that are 60 images are more like $15 a piece. So the only downside, like I said, is going to end up being the paper. And if I can just get over maybe coloring with a different medium or, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe alcohol markers are going to work just fine in here. I think it's just going to be a problem on some of the images that have some smaller line art. Um, but even then, it's not the thinnest that I've seen. So I'm just going to have to see how, how alcohol markers behave on this. So um, with that being said, that is my Dollar Tree haul. I hope when we move everything back in frame, just to remind you of all of the things that I got. That is my haul that I got at the Dollar Tree. So um, I can't link any of this below because all of this you have to actually get at the store. Trust me, I looked online. Um, so head on over to your closest Dollar Tree, check out where it is and go and pick up some of these recommendations that I have. And I hope you all have a lovely rest of the week and have a fabulous weekend and we will talk again soon. Bye.